Tonight, it appears fire crews are making steady progress against the Bobcat fire. Sky 9 was over Mount Wilson late tonight. The winds were calm enough that crews could set backfires to clear trees and brush from around the observatory and TV towers. Crews are also making significant progress on the high desert side of the fire. Well, the fire has grown now to more than 112,000 acres. And strengthening containment, which is now at 17%, continues to be a priority tonight. KCOMI's Lori Perez <laughs> is live in the high desert community of Little Rock with the latest. Lori? Yeah, it looks like firefighters are getting a little assistance from the weather today. And tonight, fire authorities said that the weather really cooperated and moderated the fire activity. So there really wasn't much flame today, which is great news. Hopefully firefighters can get a break and then get a handle on this massive Bobcat fire. This evening, the Devil's Punch Bowl Recreation Area is a charred remnant of itself. Fields of ash where a vibrant desert landscape once was. The Bobcat fire tore through here as it has consumed more than 112,000 acres. This video from the Newport Beach Fire Department showing us what firefighters have been facing for more than two weeks now. The Nature Center at Devil's Punch Bowl burned, along with more than 20 other structures, including Mardell Sake Miller's Juniper Hills home of 35 years. All I grabbed was pictures of uh, my mom, my brother and I when they were alive, my husband when he was alive, but it was on my mantle. That's the kind of loss Jackie Hallgren and the staff at Charlie Brown Farm have feared. Watching the wildfire burn in the distance from their Little Rock shop, the massive flames of the past few days have filled the Antelope Valley with smoke and worry. We still have concerns because we've seen different times through the years, 138, it jumps, you know, but... Um, uh, just uh, pray for everyone's uh, safety. As the fire continues to grow, evacuation orders remain in effect for Juniper Hills, Devil's Punch Bowl, and Highway 39. The Bustamante family is still able to stay in their Little Rock home, but they are growing weary of this fire and of this year. It's very stressful uh, to know that it's coming this way and there's nothing they can do about it, so that's something to concern of. Oh, on top of the COVID-19, now this situation. You know, and I've been here a couple times over the past few days. It was much cooler that cooler this afternoon. It is much cooler tonight than it has been over the last few days. So hopefully those firefighters will be able to get the upper hand. In Little Rock, I'm Lori Perez. Back to you. Lori, thank you so much.